can we then move on to the next question in the name of Assembly Member Twycross on the South London incinerator? Yes, thanks, uh, Fiona. I, I have been consulted on the planning application uh, for this. Um, we did raise a number of issues uh, relating to waste planning, metropolitan open land, uh, biodiversity, sustainable development, and so on uh, and so forth. Um, I think the Council has resolved to grant uh, approval, uh, so it's going to come back to me. Uh, so it's, it's very difficult, really, for me to say, to say more on, on, on it now. OK. I mean, I'll just raise a couple of points that you might like to think about when it does come back to you. Um, science evolves constantly, and the science on incinerators looks like it's changing, reflecting long-standing public concerns about the potential health impact of incinerators. For example, nanoparticles such as PM10s produced during incineration have been linked to cardiovascular deaths and higher infant mortality <coughs> rates in a study published as recently as last year. Are you confident that if Beddington Lane incinerator goes ahead, it won't harm the health of local people and uh, children? I, I, I can't uh, really comment on that sort of thing. Uh, like, <coughs> what I can say is all those sorts of concerns will, of course, be taken into account. OK, um, good. Thank you. And your own London plan, as well as national planning guidelines, offer strong protection for metropolitan open land against inappropriate development. And the developer, Viridor, has admitted that the development is technically inappropriate. Um, will you put yourself in the position of approving it, even when the developer says it's technically inappropriate? Well, as I say, I, I don't want to um, fetter my discretion in that planning decision. I think I'd be, I'd be unwise to comment on that. Okay, thank you. I think. Um, thank you.